Well, let's go back to uh, News 8's Mark McPherson. He is standing by for us uh, with, a rep or, uh, with a challenger Tony Kurtz in this race. Uh, Mark, what can you tell us? All right, thanks, guys. Yeah, I am back here with Tony Kurtz. Tony, how do you feel about tonight so far? I, I feel good. We, you know, it's, we still got a long night ahead of us. We got some strong numbers coming in, so I'm very, I'm, I'm excited. And uh, like I said, let's see how it plays out because the night's still early. You are taking out a long-time incumbent in a very Democratic district. What has this campaign been like for you? You know, tonight's more about thanking everybody. You know, it's like this crowd tonight. You know, it, it starts at the grassroots and all the volunteers that have helped along the way. You know, like I said from the get-go, this has been a very humbling experience for me because I've never ran for politics. It's it, There's so many people that are getting off the sidelines. They're, they're frustrated with the dysfunctional federal government, and they want change as much as I do. And so it, it's really a credit to them because they've made this possible for me and Julian. And, and it, you know, we're just kind of the messengers. It, it's really them that do all the work. So. And you're, this is a festive atmosphere so yeah. far here tonight. What's this like to be a part of this for the first time? Oh, it's great. It's wonderful. Like I said, th this is the credit to their work. So it's not, it's not for Julian and I. It's really for them because, like I said, we would not be here without their support. Mm -hmm. Just like Governor Walker wouldn't be where he's at without his support. You know, it all starts at the grassroots, people helping out, making phone calls, passing out literature, marching in parades, you know, letting us stay the night at their home. That's what it's all about. What's the biggest thing you've learned in this process, being a first time uh, person running for office? You know, to be honest, what, what other people were frustrated about. I mean, I was the same way. I was like, you know what, my vote doesn't matter, but it does matter. And tonight we're seeing that. And I am so happy that we're having a great turnout because that means people are energized. People want to be part of the process again, and that's what makes America great. Trust me, I've served all over the world. We're very blessed in this country. The Republican Party is having a very big night on the national level, close to taking back the Senate. They've taken back the House. What are you hoping for in the next two years? I, I just want to see us get some things done. And, and I'm hoping with the, the House and the Senate now, they pass some good legislation, give that to the president, and basically force his hand. You know, are you gonna are you gonna work with us or not? And I, I think that's what the American people. I know that's what these folks in the district want here. They want just things to get done, um, and, and that's my goal too. I, I just want to get this country moving forward. It, it is dysfunctional. I don't think anybody will disagree with that, and, and we got to get beyond that. We truly do. All right, and finally, what's your future for tonight? What are you gonna be doing from now until you're certain? Well, I'm just gonna be meeting and talking to people and uh, just thanking them. Because, like I said earlier, it, it really is a credit to them, and I want to—I want them to know that I'm very appreciative for their efforts. All right, Tony, we'll check back in with you later. Yeah, thank you very much for, for being with us. And again, there's been a lot of loud cheering here tonight. The governor won his race. Governor Scott Walker was reelected. Uh, Julian Bradley doing very well in the Secretary of State race. Uh, the Doyle and Hopple race are very close. And uh, Tony Kurtz says he's in for the long haul tonight. So it's been a very good night for the GOP here at the Radisson. Until, uh, until we have a few more numbers coming in, I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio. All right. Hey, thank you very much, Mark.